Good morning, it's Rachel here and we are going to do the A to Z of Christmas and a partridge in a pear tree. And this is a very big collab organized by Rach and Bella Crafts. Um, you can follow the hashtag A to Z of Christmas Craft on Instagram and on YouTube. And you can see in the list here, I'll have them all linked in the description box below, um, all of the people participating. So if you want to go and show them some love. Now mine is a W. Um, so I thought I would do windows and winter scene. So I'm just going to have a sip of coffee. And we'll get cracking. So winter scene. Let's have a look. Let's pull out some papers. We'll pull out some windows, some window frames here. Um, or otherwise, another idea that's popping into my head is you could have a window shutter that opens and then something inside as well. Or we could do attach it to those. Oh, let's do that. So I might use one of the bigger ones. Do I have any big ones here? This one, this looks wintry. Um, I'm going to glue it to some book page to make it stronger. Um, also, I, d I didn't actually um, get to print it out because you know we're packing and I'm pre-recording the video and it's all a bit crazy in my world at the moment, so I apologise. But um, if you want to go and check it out, um, Rach and Bella Crafts also did a wonderful big Christmas kit. And I'm really sorry that... Um, Rach and Bella, that I didn't um, get to print it out. It's just, it's been tough keeping up with videoing and packing and moving and we still got a lot to do. So I thought I'd better get my video done. Um, so that way, you know, I'll be, I'll be publishing it on the right day and not letting everybody down sort of thing. So I'm just gonna, I'm just reinforcing because this is just printed on regular copy paper. Now, I haven't had a lot of time really to think about this either, so <laughs> could be a hot mess. You never know. It usually comes together in the end. Occasionally I do. I don't like what I do. Um, but if I weren't, were not to like it, then I wouldn't have, I just don't publish the video and you'd never know the difference. Okay, so get my window going. Let's get the window going. And while that's drying, we can think about how the rest is going to work. So I'm going to... Cut that out. Oh, just a minute, the door. Okay, I'm back. Wasn't even for me. They, they all the couriers know me, and they because the lady in front of us orders a lot of stuff um, online, and they always know that I'm at home at this hour, normally unless I go out, of course. But um, and so they always, if their other person doesn't answer, they ring my doorbell and leave the parcels with me. But this one, I didn't even know the name of that person, so I didn't want to take it because it's. It's not someone that I know of in our building. So, anyway, wasn't for me. Moral of the story. But I had to put my shoes on, get my keys, go outside. It's raining. Okay, right. So there's my window. That's going to be my window. And now I want to find my um, tracing paper. I nearly said tissue paper. Nearly said it. Now, I'm just going to move the copy. Here it is. Found it. And I'm going to put just a plain piece of tracing paper. I don't want, I don't want acetate because um, then I need to stitch it. I'm trying to avoid picking my sewing machine up off the floor. It really needs to just go over to the other place. Okay, so I need to trim it down. I'm just going to use my scissors. The tracing paper works nicely. Just trim a bit of excess off. Okay. And of course, you can do multiple. I'm just going to do one, but you could do multiple. Okay. So... So my W, I'll repeat it, is for window and winter scene. I don't know what winter scene I'm going to do, but I'm sure there's something wintry that we can, you know, like 
I do, when I think of a winter scene, I'm thinking of those lovely postcards that have the snow, the house in the snow, or the or the deer, that sort of thing. Um, and of course, on this on this frame here, this window frame. Well, I'm calling it a window frame. It's actually just a frame, but we're going to make it into a window. Um, you've got the trees with the snow on them, so it's a wintry scene. I bet you thought I was mad, Rach and Bella. I call you Rach and Bella because I don't know if there's, I think there might be two of you, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I, you probably thought I was weird saying W, but I already had it, just popped into my mind straight away, so I thought, why not? Other people might have been relieved, or maybe not. I'm actually thinking this could be a nice um, sort of flippy thing you could add to a cover of a journal. I haven't even made it yet, and here I am thinking of its possibilities. Okay, so there's my window ready. Now I need to start thinking about what, how am I going to create my little scene? Put that over there. Okay, so first of all, I want to look in my postcardy bits, if I can find where they are there. Now they're papers. These are background papers. I might use those to create my... I'm going to do shutters, I think. That's my thought. May, may or may not work. What I'm looking for are these. Here we go. I want to see what I have here. What imagery do I have here that might work? And if I don't have anything here, I'm going to head over. Gonna. Head over. Oh, that, see, that would be... Let's have a look. We can just go like, that's cute. Well, I'll keep that one aside just in case that there and I might even I think I'm going to attach it behind I'm not going to like make it a pocket I'm going to do do something different I think none of those there's a wintry scene so you could cut any of these down where's my thing oh that's lovely too okay I knew I had some okay just lifting up my papers, checking out all of the, the mad things I've got printed out here. Oh, I'm having a thought. I'll keep those out too. There's a nice wintry scene, but that's too big for my thing. I could have a bit of it. Oh, that's so cute. could have a bit of it. I could just have those two. I could have that up there. Oh, and then there's, I think I like... Oh, okay, I'll keep that one aside. So good idea. Prepare, note to self, prepare your window first. So then you can have a look and see. See, that would be nice too. Oh, too many options. I think I'm just going to have to... Well, she looks wintry. She looks wintry. It's all wintry. We've got, we have no shortage of wintry. No shortage. Can you tell I haven't done a video yet today? I'm very chatty. When I get to the second video, I've run out of chatter. So you just have to deal with a silent movie. Well, not that silent. Now, I wonder if, like, for example, that smaller one is even better. I don't know. I'll put it aside rather than the big one. I might prefer the big one. Oh, here we go. I've got a smaller one of them as well. Okay. You'll just have to cope for a second while I, I need, you know, I need to see what all the options are. I don't want any fussy cutting. Fussy cutting is not what I'm looking for. Um... Now, there's a lovely winter scene. See, this is what I was thinking. These things, too, are lovely wintery sort of scenes. Where's my frame? So it could have something like that. Is that quite big enough? Not quite. So these are... Oh, that one is. No, but I like the others more. And then I do like this one. I don't know if these might have been trials. I don't know if that actually made it. That's cute, too. But I, want, I think I would stick with the other one. Yeah. So... I, we're getting there. We're nearly we're nearly through it all. Well, that's a lovely wintry scene, but uh, I don't think you get it all in. Oh, that's nice too. Anyway, we'll keep on. We'll keep on keeping on. Oh, here's some more. That's a gorgeous wintry scene. But you can hardly see it. Okay, keep it. Keep on. Keep on, Rachel. Don't stop. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's all fussy cutting. Right. 
So pulled out some options. I, I know I probably have some options in my papers as well, but I'm not going to... I hope I didn't send you out of focus. No, it looks like you're in focus. Um, I'm sure I've got them in my papers as well, but I'm not going to use those. I'm not going to put you through it, is what I'm trying to say. Now, I'm going to fall off my chair in a minute. It's all very exciting. That's what it is. Okay, so I've got this here. I love that. So this is really a love one. This one, I like it, but I like it less. So we, this is how I eliminate. Do I like it more or less? I think I like the other one because it's a slightly smaller and I can fit more in, but that is super cute. Yeah, I think I prefer that one. So get rid of that one. This one I might need, so I'll just keep that one out. Then we've got the bigger one here. I didn't mind that, but I think I'll stick with the colourful one. And, yeah, I don't think I'll use this one. I think I'm going to use the kids. Yeah, I like the kids more. Okay, so the kids are going to go on there behind there. So let's just cut this out. They're going to be permanently in the window. Permanently. So I'm going to cut this down here. Now ideas are coming to me as I as I cut. Little ideas, nothing, nothing major. So I think I'll put my little tiddly winks there. So I need to put them there. So I need to trim. So of course, you know, if you don't if you don't have frames like these to do this. You can, well, first of all, the Graphics Fairy has some, but they're plain or they're flowery ones. You could get them there. Or you could just cut out like a, a rectangle in a piece of scrapbooking paper and you'd have instantly have a frame. Okay, so that's going to go there like that. So I'm just thinking about where am I gluing? What I'll do, I know what I'll do. I don't want to put glue here. What I'll do is I will... Just very vaguely glue around the edge of my image. Not to, I don't want to go too close to the where the window is. And then here, I'm going to grab this. It's not sticky. I'm just going to put a bit of glue down. Oh, oops. I put the glue on the front side of the image, of course, because that's what's the way it's going to be glued down. And I'm just putting some glue here as well around where the window is and I did cut it to line up I need to just slide it down a little bit if I can well, normally I can I put it up a bit high but that's okay actually I'll just leave it so they're in the window there now I'm going to have one of these on the reverse side, but I don't, I don't need it yet. So I'm just going to cut that out. It's a little bit bigger than what I need. I probably need a, something smaller, but um, it will we'll make it work. Now, what I want to do is also, I want to have kind of like something that opens. And I'm just thinking, I probably should have attached them inside, but I think I'll just do the whole thing that's going to open. So... I want to go to the papers here and see what paper would I like. None of those. I might like a more decorative paper, I don't know, we'll see. I kind of like that. I don't know what I've got, just all my background sort of papers here. So not those. I think I might go with a more decorative paper. And they are here. So let's just put it out there so I can see what takes my fancy. Ah, oh, there's another wintry scene. Now that could be cute. I wonder if that would work. So, I'm 
I'm going to put this on top like this. Get about there. And I'm going to just put a marking. I'm going to move it up to the... I think I'll just use my edge there. But I need to trim it down here, here, and here. And I'll use my cutter for that. Now, this could work. It could not work. We don't know. I've never done it before. I'm making it up as I go. So you're seeing the, ex the experiment happening in true life. It's a, a live experiment. I just need to trim a tiny bit more off. Okay. I love all the bits. I just keep all the bits because I just love them. I can't help myself. Right. And now I need to decide. So let's see if that... I'll just trim this one a little bit here too. It's very crooked. It's not making me happy. Just to trim off and make sure it's nice and straight. Now, this is going to cover it up here like this. It's probably slightly too big. It's okay. Um, and I'm going to, first of all, I need to back it with something else so that when you flip it out, it looks nice on the other side. So I think I might use this paper here. This one here. Oh, also, that was just my ring light. Nothing bad happened. Just my ring light. Just flipping my ring light around. Okay. I do have stuff like all my my few stamps that I've kept here, and ink pads. They're on the floor here in a pile. My sh because my shelves. I've got one shelf here because I told Steffi he wanted to take it down to the storage room yesterday, and I'm like, but what am I going to attach my camera to? And so he's allowed me to keep it, but he's like, get your videos done. So we can start really emptying. So the pressure is on, guys. The pressure is on, but you're going to have a week of videos. Five videos, the normal amount. So I'll be very pleased about that. I did my tag. It was on Sunday. And I was really, I really didn't want to do it. And I, because, you know, I get thrown for a loop. and um, But I'm not a quitter. And... I really, 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 really enjoyed it. I was really, ple I was pleased with how it turned out. So that's good. That's always a positive thing, isn't it? When you're not dissatisfied. Like there were a couple I didn't like that I did, but that one I liked. Okay. So I'm as I'm cutting, I'm thinking um, of the logistics of how how do I want to attach it. Now this is very slightly bigger, so I do need to trim it down. I'm going to trim it down. I'm just going to cut it. Now, there's two ways. I could, or I could washi tape it. Now, what I need to do then is just cut it. And I'm thinking, I'm going to cut it. I think I'll cut it. They're not going to be even. I'm going to cut it down there. That's what I'm going to do. Now, where's my cutter? I don't want to necessarily cut it down the center because I like things off center. It's done. Okay. You're wondering why, but these are going to be shutters opening to the winter scene. They're wintry shutters opening to a wintry scene. Okay. So I'm thinking they're going to go there. And I'm wondering do I want to hinge them with a little piece of fabric? Um, I think the whale tails are, are too big. I am going to put a, a whale tail on it anyway. Let's just grab them. I think I'll put this one here. I do that one. It's a bit grungy. They're very grungy, these Tim's, Holt, Tim Holt, Tim's Holtz papers. <laughs> um, otherwise, I could have this, that simple one. Or I could have a simple... Oh, here's a light scripty one. 
that might I think I like that one too. I don't know. Anyway, we can make make our minds up about that afterwards. So um, I'm wondering, do I want to hinge them with fabric? Um, let's see, what fabrics do I have floating around? I've got some stamp bits. But I need four. I don't think... I need four stamped bits. And look at I accidentally cut that. Just might as well rip it. So let me just cut this. Would fold in half, obviously, and you'd lose some of it. So you could have... It might be too much because it's not very big. I think it's too much. So I think I'm going to do little um, I'm going to do washi tabs washi hinging I think we'll do that so I think I'm going to have just two bits so let's do one at a time we'll have this one first yeah that's better. We'll just have a little bit at the front. This is pretty sticky, this one, so that's good. Just make sure it's more or less lined up. It's a very more or less business with me there. So we're doing the, 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 win, the window, the W for the window. We're doing the wintry scene, and we've even got shutters happening. These are the shutters. They'll start to look like shutters in a minute. Tear this one okay line her up because I did cut her arms didn't I I don't want it to be too too close so you need to leave a little gap I think just to just trying to line it up okay I don't want to be too fussy There like that I probably could have come over like have it overlapping a bit further it's very easy I just had to think how I wanted to do it because I actually hadn't really planned it out I just knew I was doing window and um, winter scene okay so that's that now we need to open it out and it opens out nicely but now I'm going to put some of this. See where I've got the washi there? I'm also going to put some. Super cute. I'm going to do more of these. These are fun. So just put it where you put the last piece. Because that way you don't get the sticking. Just run your nail in there. So just eyeball about how long you ripped it. You could even count the number of trees. crooked okay I did that one a little bit shorter now I could have um, I could have not had them in there but I like them like that Okay, so that closes like that. Then what I want to do is I'm just, not those scissors, I'm just going to snip the corners off just very slightly there because I like that look. Like so. Now I'm just having a thought I could... Maybe I could have just a little, but then I have to fold, the, see, then I have to fold the acorn, no, the pine cone in half, but I kind of like that. No, okay, we'll have a whale towel, but I'm not going to have that, I'm not going to use these because they're not the right colour for me. They're a little bit um, too, too dark. Here we go, I've got a green one here, I might like that one. 
Oh, what's this? That is like, oh, that's that's pink. Or oh, book page. I like book page too. I, I did cut out some book page. So we can have book page, maybe down here. Or we can have green. I might like the green. Let's do green. I think I like the green. Okay. So that's my window with my wintry scenes. So I've got the shutters, you open the shutters and there's your little wintry scene there. And now I still haven't finished. So that could, you could put that in, like you could just snip a little thing and that can be your pocket. Obviously you're not gonna see what's behind because we've glued that in. As I was saying, you could leave that open, but I like the wintry scene in the window. So it looks like we're looking through the window. Um, I was wondering if I might like to attach this. Let's see. If I were to attach that on the back, it could be like a postcard with a window. I'm thinking it could have even be like a tuck. Would that work? Now maybe I'll just glue it on there. Um, and then I was thinking, just say you had like a journal you would have seen this by now just a minute where is it where's it gone where have you gone um here it is so you could have something like this and then this could hinge on there and then it flips out and that's like a little postcard you could have that as well or you could attach it to some sort of postcardy thing and it could be like a tuck in there sort of thing so I'm just trying to think what do I want to do do I want it like to be like be kind of a cute little pocket wouldn't it maybe I'll keep it as a pocket I think I'll keep it as a pocket I've changed my mind so what I would do then if I'm keeping it as a pocket I've lost my punch here it is I would just punch my little semicircle there so that's going to glue down on three sides on a page and it's a tuck so you would then tuck in behind a I've got a tag here just a sec half cut out let's just finish cutting it out so you can see so you could have a little tag this one's not decorated it's just a fun little pocket with a little peekaboo sort of thing that's what it would look like you see you'd have your tag just so we'll find a page in here um, even this page unless you wanted to color that in put that on there and then you open it up and there you've got your little winter scene inside so there we go i'm really happy with that very happy with that um i'm definitely going to make some more of those and keep one as a sample i think so that way i remember so there is my little project for don't forget rachel and bella crafts i'll link their shop their etsy shop actually i'll link their christmas kit in the description box um, a to Z of Christmas craft and it's a really really wonderful um, collaboration I haven't had a chance to watch everybody's videos um, I'm sorry guys but I will watch them I'm just moving so when the move is done I will be back in action but it's been a long haul so yes yeah, thank you so much for asking me to participate too what a what an honor I mean there's so many wonderful people in this list as well so really, really honoured about that. And I hope I posted on the right day. So <laughs> hope I don't make a boo-boo. All right. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my window. Window with the wintry scene. Window with a wintry scene. There we go. And it's got um, window shutters. That's what we call them. Window shutters. Yes. So lots of W's there. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day. Bye.